Parental discretion is advised. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, two ninety nine, and we got a full house tonight, getting closer to the holiday season. We got a lot of wrestling going on to talk about. A lot of people emailing in, a lot of stuff. So uh, let's get right with it. Hey, who's in the crew tonight? We got the Wrestle Fan in San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas. That's apparently twenty six degrees outside, so that's awesome. DJ Lunchbox from Parts Unknown. Ooh, every day I'm hustling, hustling, <laughs> hustling. Ah. We got Bobby ah. F. J-Town from F and J-Town. Yo, I love my bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and AJ. Ooh, do you feel it? I feel the excitement. Ooh, I feel the excitement. It's building in my bones. I'm feeling to talk that shit on the internet tonight because it's bone digging it. And Chachi, ah! oh. it's still going. Chachi on the couch. You will show me more respect than that. <laughs> What's that? Introduce me correctly. I'm sorry. The uh, highest viewed uh, personality show on Sorgatron Media for the month of November. Chachi of Chachi says the vidcast. Chachi says dot net at Chachi says where you get all your tweeting entertainments. Exactly. <laughs> and, Thank you. And I'm Sorgatron. Man, uh, wait, showing respect com. means giving a lot of plugs. At Sorgatron, <laughs> I guess so. Uh, <laughs> and this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Tweet us at Mayhem Show and contact us at. Good times <laughs> at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, like so many of you have this week. And, of course, our voicemail line on Google Voice, 412-206-WMS0. That's 9670. Hey, we got stickers. chashi has got stickers. I don't. Uh, uh, yeah, I do. chashi has got some stickers over there. You can get them. You send us a self-addressed stamped envelope, or you find some stuff on Twitter. And Chachi and will lick it. Send it to you. But WMS Stickers, Carol, Whoa. Sorgatron Media, 1535 Belasco <laughs> Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA one five two one six, and uh, and yeah, it's the Mayhem Show. And also, hey, yeah, shouts is. out to the Wrestling Revolution uh, message board where uh, you know those guys support us, and we're going to support them. So give them a shout out. Also, thanks to uh, Basic sick- Sickness for the intro. Uh, somebody was asking who did uh, that intro last week, and uh, I realized we don't say his name enough. So Basic Sickness, Basic Sickness, Basic Sickness, Basic Sickness dot com to go check out more of his stuff. <laughs> Catching up, catching up. Uh, hey, we got a lot of stuff. Hey, Chachi, this isn't wrestling related, but this is for you, apparently. What? Uh, this is, uh, I missed who retreat, retweeted it. I'm sorry. Uh, it's originally tweeted from uh, Think Geek, but here's uh, Down the Hatch, the uh, Swan Station uh, playset. Oh, yeah, I saw that what? already. Yeah. So you've been doing your relost oh. tweets, and uh, that, that was passed along this week. I've got four pages. I'll be back. I'm going to thank Geek. Of lost tweets. Some of them I sent out. Most of them I have not. It's a hell of a project that you're doing. You're you're big on these 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 projects in the video games and now relost. <laughs> well, oh, it was um, uh, Sonic Screwjob. Thank yeah. you, thank you, Sonic Screwjob, uh, for sending that along. I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't copy to the notes correctly. I just ordered something from them. Uh, <laughs> so. You guys also need to get. Have you guys seen the Xbox Slim laptop? No. What is this? Uh, it's think- it's it's a laptop version of an Xbox, but it's got like an 18 or 19 inch widescreen display hooked up to it oh, and it's geez. yeah i'm putting that one in the chat room i want that <laughs> one for christmas i want to be able to play my call of duty wherever i go uh, getting a little getting a little sidetracked from the that, that's for yeah. the other show aj other show because aj is the show. boss I'm, i know i started it but uh but hey we got we got a lot of chat a lot of emails to go through here uh oh. people mailing in uh, <laughs> i got an email Chachi, chachi's got one i got chachi's two got emails one that oh you have two you have to read yeah okay Hot dog. Let's see. We will start with the more important one. Nice. Oh, where's that? Do, do, do. The emails. Bringing up the emails. That's not it. Where is the emails? Wow. Would totally you prepared, is. everybody. There it you is. You know what? Hearing, hearing your email song <laughs> reminds me how much I miss Strong Bad. Shut up. Never forget. All right. All right, peace. Good Bye. evening. Bye. I won't make fun of WrestleFan tonight because he might get butt hurt about it. Aww. Seeing I can't turn heel, he's already heel. He's the heel for smarts. Smarts don't like him because he has the 
Five moves of doom. Smarks don't like him because he has the same match over and over. But isn't that the heel by definition? He finds a way to win. Whether it's the Superman recovery, the taping of baristas, uh, baristas, wow, <laughs> Batista's feet, the chairs from the ceiling, whatever. It's far more subtle than your normal cowardly heel. If anything, the Smarks want Cena to turn Smark face or regular heel. This week in indie wrestling is the Undertaker poop break of the Wrestling Mayhem show. <laughs> I had to stop and wait for people to, to process that, that one. I get that now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What happens if Cena does turn heel? Wow. First, all right. He, he, that was me he turned down. You. Okay, but uh, <laughs> he, he stopped talking about Cena to make fun of Russell fan, <laughs> and then right, went right back to talking about Cena. But uh, what happens? The email he said he wasn't going to make fun of right. Russell fan. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if Cena does turn heel? What happens then? What storylines do you put him in? What what main event faces are on Raw? Punk, uh, uh, no idea who else. Congratulations, Punk. In every Raw main event from now until someone gets drafted slash traded to Raw. I want to hear about more Japanese wrestlers during this week in indie wrestling. Or is that not indie enough for the segment? Thoughts? Mm -hmm. Yoshi Yoshi they could Tatsu's be. He's the only one, right? Boo! Diggity! <laughs> You read AG's email and he's on the show? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Uh, so would be a weird okay. Email. I'd just like to point this out. Uh, I didn't make fun of WrestleFan. <laughs> no. Technically. Fun of this Technically. Week in indie wrestling. Yeah. Technically. Which, is, which is my segment, but okay, whatever. Okay, That's and... No, 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 no. I wasn't making fun of you, WrestleFan. I was making fun of the segment in general. <laughs> and uh, that, that, that I, that I do. You. Uh, LB, Every week. you got one yes. from uh, Sonic Screwjob. I do indeed. I do indeed. Uh, it's called Rambling Light. Salutations, Mayhemation. Ra is Rider. My Emperor Laryngitis Theory is still rolling along. I think Piper was Count Dooku, though. The really badass old guy who's paving the way. Before long, we'll have a clone army to contend with, and Cena will putting, be putting the AA on younglings. On that subject, is WWE trying to crawfish? Yeah, that's what he said. Crawfish on the heel turn for Cena. Was the Zack Ryder match a subtle push for Cena to get some additional face time? Let me get this straight. Number one, Piper spotlights Cena's problem with the fans on Raw last week. Number two, Cena cuts a promo claiming his love for the fans, haters or not. Number three, gets put in a match with Ryder, the most over superstar in the company. Number four, puts Ryder over in every way, but takes the win. Number five, demonstrates a selfless act by giving up his shot for the sake of Ryder. Number six, saves Ryder from a hopeless situation, Mark Henry, to be the hero. Even though Cena is putting Ryder over, it's like Ryder is giving Cena a transfusion of fan approval. I love the fact that there is some storyline for the U.S. title, though. It's been missed for far too long. Impact. I really like the evil Rude, right down to Max Zorin's suit from A View to Kill and the distraught family. The Rude family's heartfelt emotional testimonies about Rude's uh, turn to evil made me wonder if Smeagol's family felt the same way when Gollum took the ring in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I'll grant you the knockouts are beautiful women, who I'm sure are wonderful people and probably great singers to boot. But why sleaze them up when they're receiving compliments for being workers and not Barbie dolls? Was TNA insulted by this? Sonic. P.S. I'd like to wish John Morrison luck in his future endeavors. Morrison's <laughs> departure and Evan Bourne's return means Santino will have to job twice as much. There you go. The fact that John Lord like, has wished him well in his future endeavors live on Raw might have been one of the best moments of Raw. Oh, that yeah, was that's amazing. True. That's true. That's true. I, uh, there was a tweet <laughs> that somebody uh, sent out about the CM Punk Evan Bourne conversation, and it was. Um, uh, what was it? I still smell weed on you, Evan. I smell Natalia on you, punk. Yeah, but you can't get suspended for that. <laughs> Shashi, I think you have the next one. Oh, I do have an email. To Fantastic. Read. And he's completely prepared this time. I am. I just had to unlock my phone. 
<laughs> Got you prepared, huh? <laughs> Got me a mess! <laughs> Yes, I have decided to take a hiatus from being on the Mayhem Show and give my voice a break while giving the voice of the Riz his money's worth. So that is the return of the number one rated game show. Close second, who can yell at WrestleFan the longest? Would you rather? I posted this in a document. First time for everything. There's an awesome video about a certain MMA coach. So if you were an MMA fighter, in this case Anderson Silva, would you rather have a well-defined, well-coached coach that knows how to do an MMA match properly in your corner, or Steven fucking Seagal? <laughs> Until next time, don't tell Gary Busey the cook has backup, Riz. I think I'm going to have wow. to go with Steven Seagal. I'd rather have Gary Busey. <laughs> hey, hey, Gary Busey's scrappy, okay? He is. He's i got to be real cool. honest. Uh, I'm taking Jean-Claude Van Damme over Seagal. <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme's probably still in good shape. Steven Seagal got fat and had to be a cop in Alaska. Let's... That's true. Let's take a let's take a real hard look at what happened to people's careers. It's New Orleans, not last this video. This video is in New Orleans. Orleans. Close yeah. enough. Yeah, he is. Steven Seagal. Hey, listen. <laughs> you know what? No, if if I'm picking my MMA coach, Chuck Norris. Uh, you know, I'll have to go with Steven Seagal because uh, uh, Anderson Silva is spectacular. I think the question is, does he really need it? Did he ever really need Steven Seagal's help? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Probably, absolutely not. Probably not. <laughs> no. But no, if anything, no, no. he comes Anderson out, Seagal his opponents are like, is that Steven fucking Seagal? And then they're just blown away. This guy's going to kick my <laughs> face off. Right. You no, know it, it's do? the same they're, thing they're for... Like this. They're like, oh, hey, uh, Anderson Silva doesn't really need a real coach. We're going to have him hang out with Steven Seagal for a little bit, <laughs> and he's still going to destroy this other human being in the ring with him. <laughs> <laughs> the video. And it doesn't matter. He's even using the same movie moves <laughs> that Steven Seagal had. This guy goes flying out of a plate glass window. This other guy dies slowly in an octagon. <laughs> I mean, come on. We don't. I don't think. I don't think Steven Seagal needed to be with Anderson Silva, but it's kind of awesome. So wait, wait, they show three hundred when he gives the kick. <laughs> Oh my god, this is great. That was, that was great. Always always a fan of accompanying videos with these things. Um, Alright, who's got the next email here? I'm out. You're out? Yep. We got one from YC Dub. Sup, Mayhemers. Sorry I haven't been around a few weeks. I've been trained to be an actual wrestler, so I've been busy on Tuesdays. Uh, just so everyone knows. What, now taking... he thinks he's better than us? Oh, but hey, that, that's what happens. Everybody <laughs> like, back. the Fuck real wrestlers leave the show and die. You're too good to talk about wrestling. I get it. Yeah. Just so everyone <laughs> knows, taking a bump sucks dreams. half the time, so I have a new appreciation for wrestling when I see people taking crazy bumps. Failing in a, falling in a wrestling ring is like falling on hard grass. Uh, also, I'm glad to see I still have a lead in the DVD competition. Five dollar wrestling will never be beaten. Uh, now on to the shit nobody likes. I haven't been watching wrestling that op that often anymore because it sucks. However, I have heard all the buzz about these promos for uh, January second, and let me tell you, bitches, it better not be Chris Jericho. Fuck what you say. Chris Jericho <laughs> has nothing to offer WWE anymore. He's a good wrestler and can still go. Okay, so can CM Punk. He's a good talker. Okay, so is um, CM Punk, he has star power. Uh, all right, so does, what's his name? CM fucking Punk. WWE does not need Jericho. He has enough shit going on, and he does not need WWE either. Actually, I would just point like to point out, because last week we were talking about the promos, so I got curious. Mm -hmm. um, Chris Jericho is actually pretty free right now. Is he? Uh, his uh, it looks like he's clear enough. For his European Fozzie schedule and uh, tour schedule ended November nineteenth. Oh, so really? He's, Question mark. He's uh, actually done with that. That huge CM Punk versus Jericho would be money. <laughs> because I mean, uh, that was the tour for their latest album. Okay. Which means they're done with that. Okay. Um, which means they just released an album, so okay. that's not an issue. So yeah. He's pretty free up. Hmm. If Jericho and CM Punk want to have a match at WrestleMania, I 
will buy WrestleMania. Yes. <laughs> I'll buy WrestleMania for that crap. I'm not standing in Buffalo Wild Wings for four hours to watch Jericho and Punk. I'll buy it and watch it on my couch. And it's going to be awesome. I'll buy a Buffalo Wild Wings and hold the paper. <laughs> I'll buy a whole Buffalo Wild Wings for that match. <laughs> Do you realize how much it costs the franchise to any restaurant ever, Bobby? <laughs> well, I don't think it's worth it. I really don't. Worth it. Worth it. It's totally worth it. <laughs> Excellent. Back to the email. Second theory, Undertaker. Uh, it better be him. If he's coming back for Mania, he needs to come back ASAP. So bringing him back now would be ideal. I think that's kind of an obvious choice if it is does go with him, myself. Uh, we're, just not, we're just not... Just can we just not do that and be do- completely done with the Undertaker? Can all we right, just do all it? Right. Yeah, uh, third theory, time. third theory, Skip Sheffield. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. These pro, these promos are for Brodus Clay. He's finally going to debut. Wait, 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 wait. Fourth theory, Brodus Clay. See third theory. <laughs> fifth theory mankind i've heard people will say it will be mankind and he will be deranged again and claim he is tired of the goofy and that he wants to defeat undertaker at wrestlemania this would oh. make sense but would be very awkward because we're so used to, to and comfortable with mick foley being himself plus he's already back yeah I would, uh, i'm one, actually I would, I would like that because it means mankind comes back I wouldn't like that because that means Mankind versus The Undertaker. <laughs> Which means somebody will die. Uh, I, uh, yeah. well, yes. Somebody would die. Oh, you have more email? Oh, no. oh, I'm not done yet. Okay, go ahead. He has, more, he has like two more theories. Okay. Uh, sixth theory, theory. Sting. Ha! <laughs> Scream that obnoxiously. <laughs> Fuck you! <Is> that, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I like that. Seventh theory. That last one, one, don't worry. Shane and Stephanie. We were talking about this. Yeah. Actually, I'm leaning t- more it, towards yeah. that after the latest promo. This is possible because of the girl in the background of the second promo. Be- maybe they are uh, going to take over the company. The only problem is that Shane is actually successful right now without almost killing himself once a year. Discuss! Have a good show. Why is he done? Um, so there you go. I think we've done the discussion. Yeah, but I, other I'm, than that, I'm back uh, on the McMahons. You're back on the McMahons? Yeah, because of the latest promo on Monday. Which, mm-hmm. by the way... I would just like to state that WWE is pulling these off amazingly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> amazingly. Mm-hmm. I mean, to the point where they were showing, uh, what were they calling them? Uh, the, the Divas of Destruction. Yeah, the Divas. The pin up, the, pin pin up strong. Yeah, the Pin Up Strong pin up, promo. Pin up it cut away. <laughs> Thank nobody God. Noticed. Thank God it cut away. Nobody and noticed. it came back to the announcers, to which. They were still talking about the pinup strong. (laughs) (laughs) Tremendous. Okay, you got one more email there. Who's got one more email? (laughs) Josh said we have another email. I don't see it. I don't have another email. Who's another email? Who said we have another email? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got got another one. Uh, How about this one? Because it was in the middle of that Divas of Doom one. What if January second means DJ Lunchbox's baby mama Karma comes back? Reagan. By the way, is she I'm still, look, I was, reg- is she still pregnant? Reg- Do you have a kid yet, Lunchbox? <laughs> what's, what's that? Do I have what? Are you a Are father you a yet? yet? Are you a dad? Not yet? yet. No, no, no. But I did. I'm glad you mentioned that. I wanted to bring it up here on the show. I did decide to make an honest woman out of karma. And you guys <laughs> might have seen the Inst- Inception style wrestling ring ring that I bought her. Um, <laughs> it's it's not a big deal, guys. But I'm really excited. <laughs> hey, dog. I heard you like rings in your ring, so I put a ring in your ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Russell fans! Wow, we're on gonna, that we're note, we're gonna be very happy together. No, uh, actually, she announced she was pregnant on May thirtieth, and judging by what I know about babies, which is little, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't I, I, I my know baby how knowledge. pregnancies work, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that she announced it because she was two months, possibly three months, pregnant. Okay. No, she actually wasn't pregnant yet. We had just started dating, and she knew it was inevitable. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, there's a question. Mad Mike wants to know, LB, are you guys registered at High Spots? <laughs> <laughs> we we are res- registered at uh, both HighSpots.com and uh, Jesus Chicken. <laughs> 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 wow. 
wow. Jesus chicken is amazing. Guys, on that note, I think it's time for the any indie minutes. Oh, I fucked this. Uh, wait, fuck, what? fuck. What? This, what? Week this, week this week in what? This week in what? Yeah, it's this week in oh, oh, indie oh. minutes. It's this week in bullshit that Russell oh. fans gonna talk about for five to seven minutes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Peace. I'm out. Oh. Oh. Wait. On another note, I am gonna be in the audience. Well, not in the audience. I'll be above. Indie wrestling. You okay? Yeah, you in, you in are in public. You in public. In public, <laughs> even yeah. in public. In public. Uh, no, Chachi. Indie wrestling. Chachi is about to have more indie wrestling experience and get closer to it than he ever. Wanted to. Uh, wanted to. It took uh, money. If all goes well, <laughs> Chachi oh, it took money. money. Yeah, okay. Uh, Chachi will be uh, ringside for several wrestling events, uh, holding a camera. Yeah. Uh, I if like if money. all goes well. With negotiations here, but uh, it's looking pretty good. And his first tryout is going to be doing hard cam. I'm not trying out for shit. I'm going yeah, okay. to sit in a chair and let you're, you boss me around. No, you're not going <laughs> to sit. You don't, you don't know the gig then. You ain't going to sit. Well, uh, but no, he's going to be shooting hard cam for uh, IWC this weekend. Yeah. Yay. But other than that, yeah. fuck your in, this week in indie wrestling in five <laughs> to seven minutes of bullshit. He's out. out. He's I'm out. out. Can I do it now? I'm you're, out! You're good. He's just going to yell. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Chachi. <sighs> so, this week in indie wrestling, uh, we're going to start this off with a, a news uh, coming up. Divider.com reported in the news. Um, Sarah Del Rey, who is um, a friend of the Wrestling Mayhem show, uh, was interviewed talking about you know what she's doing in her career right now. And she kind of dropped the hint that there is a chance that in 2012, Ring of Honor will develop their own women's division. Ooh. Which, um, which I, Isn't I that really shimmer? hope happens. I'm sorry? Isn't that basically Shimmer? Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what they have. it's been for a long time. They have that. They've had that partnership with Shimmer, which is basically, oh, we're going to use some of your stars. Uh, we may have a Shimmer title match every, you know, couple months or whatever. But they don't really have a women's division. I, I definitely, and oh, this is my kind of opinion being brought into this. I definitely think they can do it. Uh, Sarah Dore definitely could be the focal point. I would love for them to do that. Um, they have people like Mia Yim who uh, is part of the embassy and is right now just being used as a valet. But uh, she yeah. is a great wrestler, and she can definitely be put in there. Um, their partnership with OVW, they definitely can, you know, bring some people up from there. And it's – I well, beyond I think that, they have – I'm sorry. Beyond that, they have Shimmer. Shimmer is an ROH property. And Shimmer as well, So yes. they, they have, like, a resource to say, okay, you, you, and you. Come on up. Well, that, We're going to start putting yeah, you on well, TV. Well, well, Shimmer's not an ROH property. Uh, Dave Prezak actually owns Shimmer. Okay. And him and, okay. Well, Prezak has a good relationship with, obviously, with ROH. So. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, I mean, I def, I definitely think they could you they could really it could really help them. I think um, it's it's uh, yes, women's division wrestling has been kind of jaded as a way to you know people talk about the divas and the knockouts, which have kind of you know gone. I would love to see Ring of Honor do this. I mean, I would. Definitely love to see him take a chance and maybe even get Sarah Del Rey into that focal point. Because Sarah Del Rey, uh, she was part of Ring of Honor for, I mean, she's still part of Ring of Honor, but she was used basically as a valet, really, for the Kings of Wrestling. Yeah. Uh, Chris Hero and Claudio Castagnoli for the longest time, and she wasn't really wrestling. So I would love to really see them do something with this and get more women on their shows. Um, speaking, speaking of women, uh, there was a big event this past weekend, uh, Joshi Mania for Chikara. It was a three-day event, uh, oh. December 2nd. Oh. I'm sorry? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Uh, oh, well, uh, it, I, was, I mean, AJ, AJ mentioned in his email he wants Japanese in these any minutes, and there was a lot of Japanese at Joshi Mania. Um, definitely a lot of great action. Uh, uh, Sarah Noe, as we mentioned before, Aja Kong making her U.S. return, uh, Minami Toyota uh, getting the Diva Dirt Legacy Award uh, that uh, the first night in Philadelphia. Ayako Hamada, uh, as well as countless others. Um, the DVDs are, are already on sale at SmartMarkVideo.com. You can already order all three events for uh, Joshi Mania. Definitely go check them out. Show them your support. Also, which is um, funny news that I actually 
I don't have it in the document because I just found out about it like an hour ago. There's a, there's a rumor going around. I'm not positive of that they may be closing down the ECW arena. Yeah, it actually, uh, it, it was sent along. Um, I, I have it uh, emailed to myself. Let me bring it up here. If you can hit another story, I'll bring it and bring up the information. Yeah, we'll, I'll, we'll bring that up in a little bit. Uh, the next, well, obviously, since we mentioned it before, IWC Winner Takes All is this weekend, December 10th. Uh, it's going to be definitely a great event uh, for IWC, you know, the big uh, event of the year. The main event uh, for that big event is, a, uh, I believe, let's, let me pull it up so I can get all the information here. Uh, it's at Elizabeth PA, Court Time Sports Center. Um, this pay- Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, World Heavyweight title match, John McChesney, Shima Zion, and Jimmy Marco in a three-way match. The um, four-way ladder match for the Super Indie title between uh, Hollow Wicked, Friend of the show, uh, Michael Obama Fassad. Friend of the show, Matt Cross. And, Log- and friend of the show, Logan Shulo. And then the uh, four corners scramble to crown the new IWC Tag Team Champions, featuring lots of friends of the show. Uh, the Founding Fathers, Super Hentai and Jimmy Vegas. Uh, the Gambino Brothers. The One-Nighters of Nikki Valentino and Bobby Beverly and Aeroform. So uh, definitely go check that out. Uh, Court Time Sports Center. Uh, December 10th, Ringside's 25, General Mission 20, Kids Under 10 get in for 15. Uh, it's going to be a great event. Check them out. They have their new Aftershock uh, episode already up. Uh, and, and, I gotta s- and I got to say, the Aftershock uh, show is really coming along, really developing nice, I think. I think Justin Plummer's been doing a great job with it. Definitely check out the one for Night of the Superstars. Uh, it has a lot of stuff with uh, Carlito and Mick Foley. Uh, so it's it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Go check it out and give you a little bit of what's going on uh, there in uh, IWC. Yeah, definitely. Um, next on the Indie Minute, uh, if you are in the Texas area, preferably uh, the San Antonio or Austin area, you may be seeing this man, the Russell fan, at an indie event coming up this weekend. <laughs> or a couple indie events coming up this weekend. Mine. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just get to you, man. Just go with yeah. it. Oh, God. I keep uh, – I no. uh, December 10th, I'm going to be at River City Wrestling's big event, the Event 2. Uh, group of friends over there at River City Wrestling. Uh, a lot of great matches. Um, El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. will be there to team with uh, the Supermax Hernandez, TNA superstar, in a six-man tag match um, involving a lot of other great RCW stars. Uh, Andromeda versus the Minister Rick David for the t- uh, international title. Career versus title. Um, Andromeda's career on the line. That's going to be a great match. And... Banana ladder match, folks. That should say enough. Banana uh, ladder Wally match. Hockey Kong defend, defend against the Gulf Coast Connection in a banana ladder match. I don't know why I have to say more. Get your tickets now. RiverCityWrestling.net uh, for those uh, tickets for those events. Go check them out. And then the next night, uh, December 11th, I will be in Austin, Texas for Anarchy Championship Wrestling. Uh, they are holding their big December event, Delusions of Our Childish Days, uh, with the main event of Robert Evans versus El Generico. Uh, there's also a six-woman uh, Joshi Championship ladder match, which is definitely going to be great. Um, a good old family Christmas death match, all that good stuff. Uh, that is at the uh, Mohawks in Austin, Texas, uh, nine one two Red River Street. You can get your, you can uh, reserve your tickets at uh, AnarchyChampionshipWrestling dot com. Um, go check them out, uh, and if you see me at any one of those shows, say hey, I saw you in the Wrestling Mayhem show, and give me a, give me a holler, and maybe I'll hand you a sticker, and it'll be a good time. It'll be a great time for all. Uh, so, Sorg, did you pull maybe? up that? Uh, you it's need to like, guarantee stickers. You don't get to just throw maybe out there. Maybe yeah, say hi, say and hi maybe I'll stick. give you a sticker. <laughs> Come mean, on. Well, <laughs> by maybe, I mean I'm definitely going to stick it somewhere on your person. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. And whoa just, what do you mean? I'm going to, you know. And this also is my kind of guarantee. Local. Also going on locally, uh, rwalive.com, season beating three. Uh, go check out that if you're uh, around the West Newton area. Here in the uh, in the Pittsburgh ish area, yeah. uh, and I did bring up the information. This was uh, retweeted by somebody called David R. Demira on Twitter. I don't know who that is. Whoever um, that is, I, I think he wrestles for IWC. Uh, the building. Uh, this is from uh, apparently the Pro Wrestling Ponderings dot com profile uh, on Facebook. So uh, apparently, the last event was uh, CZW's Cage of Death on twelve three. There have been rumors for at least a year. That the building was going to be purchased and used to house a religious organization. Several weeks ago, the Philadelphia Inquirer 
Uh, there was an article about issues between the current leaseholder of the building uh, da, 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 and another p potential leaseholder that wanted to make the venue a concert hall. Uh, and we'll have more information as it comes in. So I guess this is this is fresh off the sheets here, you know. Yeah. Uh, so break, I, I found that kind of interesting because, I mean, obviously CZW does a lot of events from uh, CZW fact, pretty, and Chikara. Much, pretty much all their events from the, uh, the old ECW I, arena. I, and I think I, Char Ch Chikara. Chikara had like an event scheduled for February. And not there, only so. that, not only that, this is their training schools as well are, are housed in this. Oh, yeah, yeah, place. yeah. The Chikara uh, the Wrestle, Wrestle Factory, Factory and there. CZW's. Um, and you know, ROH of course used to do their tapings there. Uh, when we went last year, like, I mean, it was the, the cars were filled with fights and, uh, like, you know, maybe even boxing MMA stuff, I think. Um, and, and you know, so th I mean, there, there was events going on all the time. I can't believe that this place, uh, went out, is potentially going under, but it sounds like it may be a lot of extra forces going into this. And that'd be, that'd be, that'd be a shame. Cause I mean, that is like a, there, there's a lot of history there. It is. There is a lot of history. It'd be great to see it go. Uh, I mean, it, it really, you know, people, you know, people kind of see it as a rundown building. I mean, they really did, I think, put a lot of work into it. It's a lot cleaner than I expected it, you know, watching old ECW, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Right. Um, the building owners put a lot of work into it. You want to know why? Hmm. So they could get more money out of it, which they're not getting from these organizations. Well, the building owners are the leaseholders. That's the whole thing, too, so... Um, but either way, you know, we'll, we'll keep, uh, keep an eye on this and, uh, see. I, I think someone proposed some, I forgot who somewhere on Twitter proposed Occupy, uh, ECW Arena. <laughs> <laughs> Occupy the Asylum. <laughs> Make it happen, folks. So, Make it happen. There you go. What's that up? is this week in indie wrestling. There you Next go. week in indie wrestling, Hello. Wrestle fans going to read the Koran. What? Oh, Tune in for a 12 hour brain. show. <laughs> Bobby, you have a little oh, bit of Indy. What's going on? Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. What's going on Shots in the you. AON? Uh, in the AON this week, uh, also they have a show named Seasons Beatings that's coming up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's different. Um, the, only, it's different. the only match from, uh, from last Friday or last weekend's show. Uh, they revealed the outcome of was uh, that Randall Fairway defeated Zach Rain in a Flood City Street Fight, which is no DQ. Uh, which I had, uh, I gave uh, Sorg video of that. Yep, it's playing now. Um, the next show is Seasons Beatings in Altoona, uh, bell time seven o'clock. Uh, the matches are C4 versus Coma Clayton, uh, the Hassel Brothers versus James Ford, and new family member Biff Blackstone. A uh, special friend of the man sh or the, of the uh, show. The what? <laughs> the most, uh, of the what? The man special show. Special friend of the man show. <laughs> yeah. I love the man show. Am I Adam special Carolla? Yes, right. you, <laughs> yes, you do. Man child. Mm. Russell fan loves AJ, men. Versus AJ's favorite Japanese wrestler, Akiba. Akiba. We, we think he's Japanese. <laughs> Marcus oh. and Oman Cage <laughs> versus the original Florida Thug. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Black Lightning versus Sherrod Hall for the TV championship. Yeah, uh, and then the main Lightning. event, Project 13 versus uh, or Project Thirteen versus Randall Fairway and friend of the show, Kess Edison. Can I just ask why it looks like the lighting in the arena looks like there's just a bunch of cars parked around the ring? <laughs> that is from Planet Ice in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Oh, man. Did they ever do – have they done a show at the Cambria County War Memorial yet? No, they have not. Oh, they, they God. Across, they need to get big enough to do that. The street. At the convention center, but this was their first show here, so I think oh. they're trying to work the lighting out and stuff like that. But. Oh man, they need to do one at the so, Cambria County because I want to see them wrestle in the same place we saw a house show, <laughs> or we saw said, when we saw Dolph Ziggler give someone a noogie, which was they said, awesome. They said that was actually a pretty good match. So excellent. Yeah. So go check that That's out. AONWrestling dot com. All right, guys, let's uh, take a look at what's going on with the gold for this week. <laughs> Hey, oh, there's a lot of that going on. And uh, let's uh, let's also see what's Mad Mike's Mad Minute of Mayhem oh. is going on about this week, guys. Mayhem. Be right back. Mad 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 Mad. Kitty, no. <laughs> hey, well, female dog, please extricate yourself from my current trajectory. <laughs> hey, I just want to let you kids know I'm going, I'm going with the big bottle tonight. Mm. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. Get a get a load of that right there. It's Rust Belt IPA. That's old man Hopper. Oh, Amazing. Yeah. 
It's a boss. I'm the boss. It's a rig rouse. Boom. Howdy, Mayhemers. It's Mad Mike here once again with another minute, quote unquote, of Mayhem. Uh, last night's Raw was probably one of the best Raws I've seen throughout this entire year. Um, it's kind of funny that a, a combination of Zack Ryder and John Laurinaitis has done more for John Cena and his character development in two hours than The Rock has done all year. Considering, you know, Rock's supposed to fight Cena and Mania. But, the, <laughs> just... The look on Ryder's face when Cena beat him. And then the reaction by Cena was, oh, it was priceless. And it, it made Raw such a damn fine show to watch. And that's not even mentioning the fact that we're going to have a kick-ass main event for TLC. And it was awesome how they got there. I mean, we could have ended up with five guys in the main event. Hell, they almost looked like they were going to throw Zack Ryder in there. But, I mean, the, the overall scope of Raw, Randy Orton gets in there a loss. Which is awesome, because Randy Orton is actually on a losing streak. How often has that happened? Um, Ryder gets to face Ziggler at TLC. Cena is not booked for a pay-per-view. I don't remember when that's happened. and He's not even in the title shot. There, I mean, the only person I can see him fighting now is Brodus Clay. And we have an awesome main event. And we haven't even gotten to what SmackDown's going to be booking yet. And hell, I'm even kind of excited for Triple H and Kevin Nash. Because seeing Nash climb a ladder is going to be high comedy. Well, until next week, guys. Take care. Spike your hair. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 299. And it's time, as we do every week at this time, to remember when... This week, uh, it's wrestling related. It's it's football season. Uh, we're really winding down uh, to the end of regular season. But we still got arena in the spring there, Chach. Uh, but uh, you know, flash it back to the XFL. I looked forward to it as a football fan. I wanted to see what WWE had to do with you know would do with it. And of course, you know, we all know how it ended and. Uh, because they ran over one time when uh, J-Lo or somebody was on Saturday Night Live, and it just was downhill from then. Uh, but, you know, I remember the good things that brought, like, Jesse Ventura calling football. And uh, <laughs> Jim Ross and JR, or J Jim Ross and uh, Jerry Lawler calling football, which was really weird. Uh, he hate me, Tommy Maddox. He hate me. The XFL, the only XFL uh, champion quarterback who was on the Steelers for a while few years back um so I, I thought we'd go around you know you know what, what do you guys remember from the xfl and and what do you think would have happened if it stuck around you know hey jay i know you got some opinions on this uh yeah they they had uh we had a couple people uh involved in this you had uh rashawn salam who was uh one of the best running backs to come out of college he actually won the heisman uh coming out of the university of colorado and uh, failed miserably going to the NFL. He played for the Bears, and he wasn't very good. Uh, so he went to the XFL. Uh, you also had LaShawn Johnson, who was actually drafted by the Packers in the third round of the 94 draft. Uh, and by the time his career had fizzled out, he finally uh, went to the XFL. <laughs> and then pled guilty in 2005 to dogfighting in Oklahoma. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's as if you almost have the internet open in front of you. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I can see Wikipedia in your glasses. You can't, though. You also have Rod Smart, who is actually He Hate Me. He Hate Me, yep. Uh, he actually is, I believe he uh, he was in the NFL after 
the XFL. He, he actually played he a couple seasons in the XFL. He came back. Uh, he actually played in the Super Bowl, uh, in Super Bowl 38 for the Panthers against the Patriots and lost. Uh, and it's it's just, it was really interesting because they had the one thing uh, you couldn't fair catch punts, and you had the opening run yep. uh, to determine no possession. Toss. There was no coin toss. You they put the ball <laughs> on the fifty. It was a scramble. And they had two guys sprint full speed at each other. Go get it <laughs> and die for the ball. Which Dodge I believe led to a couple concussions. <laughs> uh, you also just, had such just, famed, such famed quarterbacks as Jeff Brom, who was a backup for most of his time in the NFL. Uh, you had Casey Weldon, Jim Druckenmiller. And you also had somehow, some way, out of all of the teams, like New York and New Jersey shared a team for some reason. Oh, cat. Yeah. It's crossing my path. <laughs> in the background here's the problem though the, like you know how most teams they, they want like big name cities and everything like that somehow Las Vegas got a team also hey. random city to get a team in the XFL Birmingham Alabama <laughs> the hotbed of football Why they not? were 2-8 and eight, really? by the way they finished 2-8 uh, and eight. Uh, the Orlando Rage won the Eastern Division at 8-2 and two. the Los Angeles Extreme won the Western Division at a record of 7-3 and three. And, uh, yeah, my, my the outlaws. Los Angeles I remember my outlaws won. started out undefeated, and then they just lost a couple games, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my they, outlaws. Uh, it, it's, it was bad. It was bad. They only played 10 games, obviously. There was no bye week. You just died on the field. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is what happens when Vince McMahon gets together with the NBC Uh <laughs> To, to make football, the uh, actual the first uh, the first game had an estimated 14 million viewers. Mm-hmm. Uh, the show had a 9.5 Nielsen rating on NBC, uh, cool. and the problem was is that it dropped from a 9.5 to a 4.6 in the first week, uh, wow. and the media attacked the league for what it was perceived as a poor quality of play. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Well, you know, when uh, your players are the ones that decide they don't want to go to Canada to play football. That's right. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what you end up with. Quite that's honestly, right. who would? Actually, the original plan for the XFL, uh, Vince McMahon wanted to purchase the CFL, the Canadian Football League. Wow. Yes, wow. uh, and they wow. turned them down, and 125 years of the Grey Cup was saved. Uh, <laughs> oh, saved, yes. That's the word. Dude, have you ever watched, have you guys ever watched Canadian football? It's weird. You can punt, like, randomly on third down if you really? want to. Really? Really? Yeah. Just punt. Huh. <laughs> well, what about you, Bobby? You were, a, you were an Outlaws fan. You have any good uh, memories? I, I no. remember we're I asked my about- sister to buy me a T-shirt since she lived in Las Vegas. She still does. Um, I I, ha- I still have my outlaw shirt upstairs. I just remember getting that and be like, "Yes, this league's gonna be around forever." <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, oh, silly, man. Bobby. Oh uh, man, Mike says that at least the uh, the XFL championship game makes more sense than the damn BCS. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even want to get into the BCS. They clearly are just making shit up as they go along now. <laughs> So there you go, uh, the XFL. Hey, what about you, LB? Would you watch any of that stuff when it was on? You know, I did. I, I didn't watch a lot. Uh, I have I have two main memories of uh, of the XFL. Uh, one was I was super super excited that I was like, yeah, it's like wrestling and football, and yeah, and I was part of those fourteen million people who watched the first episode, and I was part of the uh, other billion people who didn't watch the second episode. <laughs> um, and I, I watched. I did watch a few games here and there, and mainly what I remember is seeing Vince McMahon. Um, shouting at something or somebody and you could just you could tell that he could smell the failure in the air oh. and uh i felt a little bad for him but on the other hand i was like really come on man <laughs> i remember the footballs were like black and like red with x's on it's up there yeah, lots of dark and bad there. lighting it's up there so getting it he has one 
I got one right here, it, guys. Yeah, look at that. I don't, where did we get this thing? I don't know. It was Spalding, but yeah, there's your... That's a tiny football. Yeah, that's a mini. <laughs> mini. That was the actual size football. <laughs> yeah, this is what they used. That's one of the reasons it wasn't... It's edgy. Yeah. It's a different kind of sport. Yeah. We play with a tiny ball. Different shaped ball, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> so oh. You know how much XFL I watched... <laughs> How much, Josh? Half a game. Half a game? I shut it off at halftime. Really? I, I never I turned it back on. You were that disgusted with it? Yeah, it, uh, if I want to watch football, I'll watch NFL. Mm. I should have said it's about as much as you watch indie wrestling. Right. But you're, yeah. watching the, you're watching the arena football now. Yeah, it's better still. <laughs> it's not... Plus, there's a team arena. in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. It, there's, that's why, there's that's a whole, why I want to talk about my new segment this week in independent football. <laughs> 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 but I mean, yeah, yeah, AJ's right. There's a hometown team. All right, so that helps. Plus the fact that you can go to a game for fifteen dollars, yes. plus the fact that it's generally entertaining because they have they have a legitimate difference. I mean, Vince McMahon tried to throw a couple curveball rules in there, and then people were like, "Oh yeah, they're going to have people die on the field for the first for the <laughs> yes. first kickoff or whatever." <laughs> Or we're gonna have, interviews or we're gonna have all these, you know, crazy, you know, we're gonna have all these crazy rules. You can't fair catch the punt returners; are gonna die. Right. Mm -hmm. and Vince then tried. They, I think Pitt, I think the Arena League has stuck around for so long because it's a fifty-yard field. Mm -hmm. They play in the middle of the winter time when it's cold out, and you could watch a game inside. You could take an entire family for under a hundred dollars. Uh, the Sparks. teams have been around long enough, so there's at least a tradition. I think that's part of the problem with starting a new league yeah. of any kind Sparks. is you have to build a following in order to get people to care. And when people saw the first game and saw that it kind of sucked mm -hmm. and these guys weren't that good, these guys were second-string college guys. These guys weren't even first-string college guys. Well, didn't right. they try to have like the backstage like in yeah. the locker room yeah. and like make it storyline-like? Yeah. Also, remember, the AFL did fold for a year a couple of years back, and they had a little bit of a reforming, so it hasn't been all, all roses for Yo, them Rick either, Ross in the so. house. Right. Um, right. But, but uh, also, Mad Mike in the chat, uh, he, he, he reminds us, and or no, I'm sorry, um, Matt Carlins actually joins us. Uh, funny thing about XFL is one of the is production methods – uh, bled over to NFL and college, specifically the cams on the field of play, like the uh, you know the wire cam you see now on, on every NFL game. Uh, that was started with the XFL. Wasn't wasn't the X, XFL was on Fox, wasn't it? What uh, was no, that on? It was on, NBC. It was on NBC, UPN, NBC, and yeah, TNN. But um, yeah, there's a difference between what Vince tried to do and what they're doing with arena football. Yeah, but. so. Arena football has been – yeah, they've been doing a lot. Uh, I'll go watch arena football. I bet NBC took the XFL on knowing that they were likely going to get the NFL a couple seasons later. That's true. And said, this is our chance to test out what it is that we want to do. But like I, mentioned, I guarantee if you go back and watch an XFL game from 2001 – and that, and then watch an NBC NFL game from like one of the first seasons they had it. I bet they're similar. And I they, bet they're similar in how they're run, true. graphics wise, camera angle wise. I mean, you're you're still always going to have your standard wide angle shot, one team, one team play, mm -hmm. and I, that's that's the standard football shot. That's not going to change. You can throw this. You can throw the overhead wire cam in. But the problem is, is that it makes it too video gamey, mm -hmm. uh, which a lot of people don't like. Uh, when you pl uh, obviously when you play a video game, you're playing from the perspective of the players, so you're looking at the field this way instead of this way. Um, and for the audio listeners, I mean, you're looking from the point of view of the quarterback, not from the point of view of the crowd. Yeah. Uh, um, I, I think that's the key there. Is that it, you know Vince McMahon likely did change a lot of the ways the games were filmed. I'm sure that he changed the way that a lot of them, uh, a lot of the camera angles were done, a lot of segments were done. But I think the XFL uh, proved once and for all the NFL has a grip on American football that mm. nobody's taking away anytime and soon. And also, also remember, it, it was kind of a, a victim of, well, I guess poor planning. Because right, like I mentioned, there was the uh, one week where they had an overtime and that pushed back Saturday Night Live. That was supposed to be their highest-rated Saturday Night Live, which I think I, I'm pretty sure it had had J Lo on it. 
Yeah, I think it did have J-Lo. And uh, that angered uh, what Lauren Michaels and the executives because they were really counting on that to be, I think it was maybe a sweeps week or something. And so mid-season, we start to get role changes. That's a, yeah, that's a I, death I now right there. This is very similar to how the and to how NBC treats the NHL mm-hmm. um, on multiple occasions during the Stanley Cup playoffs, like the actual important time in hockey, uh, <laughs> because they're in May and NBC covers the Kentucky Derby every year. The the, the NHL and NBC get into a tiff about how NBC broadcasting a game during the playoffs. Uh, will they will change the game if it goes to overtime from NBC to versus so that NBC can carry the Kentucky Derby? Wow! This happens you know what every Kentucky single Derby year, is? and everybody gets everybody complains about it. The funny part is it hasn't happened yet, but when it does, I think it's going to be. I, I think that's when people are really going to. You're you're going to see NBC and or versus take an earful for it. Mm-hmm. You know what the Kentucky Derby is? Six oh, hours sure. of pre-horse racing and three minutes of a race. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's an that's excuse all it is. to wear very fancy hats and get super drunk. Hey, but here's the thing, Bobby. <laughs> in that case, I'm in. It, and this Although kind of goes back to what Ross we talk about on the Awesome oh. Cast all the time: <laughs> is that we're not the people they're advertising to. No, yep. no. my dad and his friends have a Kentucky Derby party. It's <laughs> stupid. My dad could give a crap. Oh about horse racing the entire rest of the year. But it's an excuse to drink mint juleps and wear silly yes. hats. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's it. That's all it is. Sexy hats. So they, you know, they don't care about the horse racing. They like, they actually put money down between their, between them. And they watch this one race that lasts three minutes and it's six hours of pre-show. And but that's drinking. what the Super Bowl is too. That's a 60 minute yeah. football game with nine hours of pre-game coverage. Yes. That is true. I mean, and we still watch the Super Bowl, and we would be pissed if something preempted the Super Bowl. Let's be <laughs> honest. I don't think that would ever happen. It won't happen. But think about it. Think about it. If somebody, if they, if you had something like the Super Bowl, but something ran over the pre-coverage of it, I don't think people would be as mad. But you would see a similar reaction, mm-hmm. and I think that's what NBC is trying to avoid. They don't want to deal with. The uh, they don't want to deal with people being pissed off because they had to, they overran the Kentucky Derby coverage. They said, "Screw it, we'll just move the NHL over to versus because that's a that's a captive audience already." But there was They'll a time move. they preempted Monday Night Football for Heidi. They did preempt <laughs> Monday Night. Or no, 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 no. They no. preempted Sunday afternoon football for Heidi. For yeah. Heidi, and during that time when Heidi preempted football, the opposing team scored and actually covered the spread and caused a yeah. bunch of gamblers to lose, but none of them believed it because none of them saw it. Oh, wow. <laughs> that actually that happened. Go back and look the at the I think they actually call it the Heidi game. <laughs> I would, um, just, like to, I would just like to point out that I often get confused by the uh, wire cam in mm-hmm. football when it happens to make it, make it into the shot during a big play. Mm-hmm. Like, if someone, if what someone, is that thing? Yeah, yeah. Seriously, <laughs> if someone like runs back like a kickoff, yeah, and they yeah. go back to the wide shot, yeah, you can see the wire cam just going down the field, yeah. and I often get like confused. Why is the thinking, droid going after Ben? Yeah, thinking that someone, thinking that someone's, <laughs> thinking that someone's running ride. down the opposite sideline. Just r- it really excited about the play, and then I realized it's <laughs> the camera. If you're gonna run down the sidelines, at least tackle them, camera. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, let's get back into the. Wrestling stuff. Hey, locally, uh, your friend and mine, Bill Peduto, I think. Bill Bill Peduto for mayor? Is that happening now? Is it? Is it? Run, run, Bill, run. Run, Bill, run. That's the uh, campaign hashtag. Well, he uh, twit picked. I didn't know all this was happening. I wish I did. We were, uh, I was, of course, busy that day. But here is a twit pick of Dominic DiNucci and George the Animal Steel celebrating Dominic DiNucci Day in the city of Pittsburgh. Nice. Tremendous, tremendous. I believe there was a roast that night that happened as well. I think there were some big festivities uh, happened over at KSWA, uh, over, I think, at the Lawrenceville Moose. Uh, holy cat, I saw pictures from this. Uh, I think Johnny Axe had him on his, who's been on the show before, because uh, he wrestles down there. They had a packed house down there. 
Um, and, uh, and, and it's good to see. Good to see wrestling in the city. In the city. That's why I say, where is the wrestling in the city? <laughs> I'm asking hey. these promoters. I've asked. I'm, 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 I'm asking them. And why the hell is there not wrestling in my city? Why do I have to go to the boondocks for this? I got some answers. Maybe we'll discuss them in the future. But uh, but for now, uh, thanks, Bill Peduto, at Bill Peduto online run bill run he's got he's got a great hey, bill he's got a great cameo on the baristas if you go check that out too um and and also a great uh a great another cameo on something to be desired with uh old friend of the show don papuga papuga, don papuga. so um so yeah and now uh should we start with the bad news or the good news we have a couple bad news ones oh. let's let's get right in the bad news bad news chris benoit biopic to be filmed in 2012 hmm. based on the I book have, i have a pretty strong opinion about this okay you're not old well, enough it's, to it's not like, it, but go ahead let him go uh, let no him go. i am old enough trust me uh he was around for this yeah i oh hey the, oh yeah he was huh the raw show where uh, they had to cancel it, and they had Vince McMahon like standing in the arena before. It was in Corpus, so hey, I, I was I was Straight really disappointed when I showed to the arena, and they said, "Yeah, the show's canceled." Yeah, but, that was amazing that Vince came back from the dead for that. Yeah, exactly. yeah. But yeah, no, so. Um, okay. So this is the thing. I think uh, I'm not, and if more information comes, because there, there's not a lot of information coming out of this movie. I wanted. I mean, if more information comes out, then I'll change my opinion, maybe. But I'm. I really don't want to see I this movie really... at all. I don't. Well, I... okay, okay. Here, let's 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 break this down a little bit. Uh, it's supposed to be based on the book Ring of Hell, the story of Chris Benoit and the fall of pro wrestling of the pro wrestling industry, which I believe has been heralded as the sleaziest telling of the events. Uh, that, that 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 have that has Isn't been out. That Irv Mushnick guy is that him? Yeah, I think that's the guy. Uh, the and the biopic is going to be called Crossface. I've oh, I've heard yay, two wrestling things wrestling about time. this. Uh, one is awful, and the other one is great. <laughs> okay. uh, the awful thing is, I heard M Night Shyamalan is directing. <laughs> I, I, know, I know, I know. I'm pretty sure oh, that no. I'm pretty sure people are just kind of. And and the be the best that. thing I heard is from former member of the show, Chad the Shad, uh, speculating on Facebook. I wonder if it will have a twist ending. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, oh. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I, 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 am not I the best way to sum up my opinion is what, uh, someone tweeted Jim Ross. Asking him what he thought of the movie, he says, "Don't like it. Not going to see it. I already relived it. I lost three friends. You know, I don't. You know." Mm. Troy Aikman, fix your microphone. What well, no, I wrestle fan is your mic? Is your is it, is, no? Where's your microphone at? It's it's on my computer. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, okay. Let him go. Okay. Let him no, go. No, it's no, all this, right. This this is nothing. Oh, this, that's, nothing. that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Matt Carlin. <laughs> Benoit biopic sounds like the most depressing movie of all time. I think I'll just watch my ben my uh, Benoit Hard Knocks DVD with a few beers and pretend nothing happened. That sounds yeah, good to exactly. me. That That's sounds good, good to me. It's a very good I, idea. Like I, I think said, we should have a viewing party. I never read the I never read the Benoit book. Mm -hmm. I if they uh, are they going to do anything from the WWE's perspective, you know, and you know, I mean, if not, then I really don't want to see this whole oh he was a horrible person he was you know whatever i don't want to see that okay i really look it's, I, it's I, gonna I, be I was, shitty but the absolute worst part is it's just another thing that's gonna make wrestling fans look like pieces of shit like we don't yes. get enough of that already yeah that's true i mean we're exactly. gonna... like i th i felt so pissed off just watching all the news coverage about that shit like all the nancy grace sh like shows and stuff like that just butchering the whole thing and i'm like i don't want to yeah got me into that again Sorry about the Spanish. Uh, Should have listened to the Mayhem show. We were both fair and balanced. There you go. I, I, I don't want to. Exp I don't want to have to go like back when I explained to people. Oh yeah, I'm a wrestling fan. Oh, like with that Benoit guy who killed his family. And that's the unfortunate thing is this thing's going like, to go out. And I, I don't wanna... I'm hoping. I'm hoping this is going to be like an A and E movie and not a uh, not a big uh, a release or anything like that that gets a lot of noise. Oh, Mike, it de it no. depends on what they're going to do with you, that. Mike, but Mad Mike. No. Um. <laughs> I, we're not we're not doing that. Um, no, not saying that no. But um, you know, it, it's uh, hopefully this isn't going to be a thing that's going to blow up and be all over the Nancy Gray shows and everything because that's the way that people are going to pretty much take it as fact. 
I is if that happens. That. Like, I but, watched uh, but it'll probably, it'll it'll probably become, hopefully, under the radar, and uh, and nobody will notice. I, hey, I, uh, on a lighter be... note, can we cut the lunchbox real quick? Hi, Internet! It's Schrodinger! Hi, Schrodinger! Hi, Schrodinger! Hi! He's back! Hi, oh, kid, he's high! Okay, he likes he likes he likes to sit on the back of my chair when I'm uh, when I'm uh, on the internet. Hi, buddy. Hi, Schrodinger. You're a celebrity. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> no, the kitty. Mike says he never knows if the if the cat is alive or dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hi, and the other bad news, uh, Sarita, who who in the in the oh, recent really past bad news. in the recent past has suffered from facial paralysis. Uh, for some reason, it has to wear a mask. Also suffered an injury. There's footage here on uh, DivaDirt.com. You see she goes up on the rope and falls pretty yeah. much on her face on the concrete. Uh, so but she yeah. won a, a great thing like two two days later. And then they start kicking her. Yeah, she won a, no, she got injured and then she won a bodybuilding competition two days later. No That's shit. Fucking yeah. No shit. Yeah, Sarita doesn't fuck around. Uh, it says she was fine, just bumps and bruises. Uh, probably kind of shocked her for the fall, of all things. Uh, yeah, they did have to cart her out. They did have to cart her out, as they're showing here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, crazy. She's had a, she had a really bad stroke of bad luck lately. That's, I'm sorry. Oh, Mr. I'm Mr. Sorry. Tuesday Night in the chat room says she tr- she's trained by Sin Cara. Uh, that really might be. funny about Sin Cara, he was, ring- he was rated the 2007 Wrestler of the Year by Wrestling Observer Newsletter. What? What the mm-hmm. fuck? Oh, what? that's actually true. 2007. Yeah, 2007. What wrestling are they observing? That's when he was <laughs> Mystico. Sin Cara's a complete... Person. That's what everybody keeps saying. No, 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 no. Same person. Yeah, it's they, the same They dude. ranked yeah, him as Mystico. Just- when he was Mystico, he didn't fuck up everything. It's that lighting, man. It's, a, it's definitely that lighting. <laughs> it's a good so, example by S. McGavin. So we really saw finished. the big unveil of what to expect this next year with oh. the WWE Network. Wait, what were you eyeing? Wait, what, Listen. Are you not excited no, about no, this? No, stop, stop. Wait, what? House, my friend. Let me just say that, yes, I am very excited about an entire channel dedicated to wrestling. Are you eating pepperoni? Yeah, but I have a pile on my lap. <laughs> Don't eat it while you're going to talk. It's just... pepperoni. What the hell? But uh, <laughs> last night's commercial mm-hmm. was bad. It was bad? Bad. Why is it bad? Yeah, no, I'm with got... Chachi. That was The really... entire graphic <laughs> for it? <laughs> yeah, it was dubstep <laughs> and bright flashing <laughs> colors. Hold on, I'll bring it up here in a minute. And yeah, it, it got me excited. Through a thin layer of <laughs> Exactly. I mean, <laughs> it was. Uh, 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 wow. Uh, it was bad. Like, was if if someone if an ep- epileptic person was watching it. <laughs> yeah, it so people with epilepsy don't get this. Yeah, yeah. You'll get this channel. Oh my! <laughs> so here's a little bit of it. Something's coming. You know, uh, it, it's uh, but but I mean, but for content wise, I mean, they don't have anything to show but old footage. Like, let's be honest. Nothing's yeah. been shot yet. You know, well, it's a few months I, out. Also, well, one thing, one thing, I like, like the logo better now. Do you At now, now like, you see it in practice? Uh, now I, now I kind of like the logo better. There's your, when there's your shown, music. When it was shown in context. Listen, I have no problem with the dubstep because the the, the track they used wasn't that bad, but it, this graphics package, the effects, everything. It's all over the place. Way one, overdone. It is all over the place. <laughs> what and are then they? the whole thing. This, 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 this little business of what they unveiled, that's fine. Cool. You can, you can park that real quick. Okay. The key part was what I tweeted in the Mayhem Show account the other night of what they're actually talking about with Comcast and Verizon okay. Okay. and all the other subscribers and all the other channels, the actual details of the channel, and not dubstep and Legends House. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm I'm out. I'm out on on uh, dubstep and <laughs> and and Legends House and all that crap. I want actual details. So what I do is I turn to Darren Ravel, who work who writes for uh, CNBC, and used to write for uh, Sports Business Journal. Okay. And he was referring to the WWE Network uh, and how it would work. 
there is a lot of talk, a lot of talk uh, about the uh, them moving pay per views to the WWE Network. Okay. Uh, moving monthly pay per views. The assumed uh, start date right now is that they will be uh, debuting the network on April 1st. I don't know if you guys have a calendar in front of you or if uh, <laughs> you guys pay attention to dates or anything, but that's WrestleMania 29. Yeah. Mm hmm. Huh. There is, gonna get fooled. there is rumors right now that the WWE Network, when it debuts, will debut showing WrestleMania 29. Holy hell. And with The Rock, that with maybe the good. biggest lead up to a WrestleMania, mm-hmm. the longest lead up to a WrestleMania they've ever had, AJ? Yeah. So that that's the big Wait, deal. You mean, tw- you mean 28? Or 28, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. WrestleMania 28. Um, no, they're they going are, to show 29 telling... right after 28. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to do it immediately. Uh, the Don't launch date will be April 1st, 2012. Uh, the WWE is telling potential partners... I don't know what's going on in my ear right now. Some stupid. Oh, Mike Rowe, that's nice of you to talk in my ear right now. Uh, they're telling potential partners <laughs> that the network will launch in 40 million homes. Uh, Comcast is working with the WWE to help them clear the cable and satellite systems uh, so that they can get this into everybody's home. Uh, there's talk of sports team programming on the network in an effort to reach outside of regular wrestling content. Uh, they're staffing 200 positions for the network, uh, and they are uh, they are they stated that most of WWE's pay per view programming would migrate to the network, but they did not specifically say if they would air live or be replays that ran after the broadcast. I'm hopeful they will air live. Yeah, hopefully, even if it's like a week later. Yeah, even if it's a I'd week down later, with that. I will. I may not watch it. The problem is that you have to watch them live. Yeah, yeah. You can't like you can't watch Raw the night after the actual pay per view and then go, oh, that's cool that that all happened, and then it ruins the entire the feel. It ruins the entire the watching the pay per view to see what happens. I mean, we always talk about SmackDown is always second tier. Because it's it's taped. We know this happened three days ago. Same with Impact. We know this happened a couple weeks ago. ROH has always had this problem. And we always collect. There's a reason why Monday night we're collecting in a Google Hangout the bullshit about Raw live. Yeah. There's a reason I got cable back because I wanted to get Raw live. You know, it's it's. You know, it, there's there's something you can't you can't get past with that for for wrestling fans they're they're into it enough. Uh, and same with the pay per views. You know, Maybe I don't. They could show SmackDown live on Tuesdays on WWE Network and then kick it over to Sci Fi. That'd be good on Friday. On there Fridays, you go. that'd be great. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, that's pretty much what ROH does with their online site. Uh, you get you get <laughs> um um if you're a, if you're a premier member on Ring of Honor uh, ROHWrestling.com. Uh, you get the you get the uh, TV show. Uh, I think as of Sunday morning, and everybody else gets a Thursday. All the free members. So uh, to ach- yeah, their WWE has to work out a carriage deal. A carriage deal being what they pay uh, Comcast and Time Warner and all the other cable networks to to sh- to put the channel into their system. Uh, they have to cut that deal with a company called In Demand, which is nothing more than a consortium of Comcast, Time Warner, Cox, and Bright House Networks, uh, which basically covers a significant portion of the country. Yeah. Um, this, I mean, this is they're trying to they're trying to do this way bigger than a lot of people expect. A lot of people expected them to make WWE twenty four seven or uh, yeah WWE twenty four seven into a regular network channel. Uh, and I think that this is the key. They really want this to happen. Uh, and I think that them putting their pay-per-views on it is a way to get people to buy it. I personally will buy the WWE Network or whatever the regular uh, – whatever package is involved with the WWE Network because that to me saves money. Yeah. <laughs> if you're somebody like me who wants to watch the pay-per-view every month and doesn't want to go to – some wonderful, wonderful sites on the internet that I will not name on the show for fear of them being taken away from me. It's or okay, I AJ. Wanna... Once I buy that uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, we'll be set. Oh, okay, good, good. <laughs> or my friend Bobby doesn't have to buy a Buffalo Wild Wings for us to watch pay-per-views for free. 
Claus. <laughs> well, do you I know, get free wings of... and free tiny hot dog sandwiches or whatever they were? Do I get that? Yeah. Am I going to oh. have to... Wait, if you're buying this restaurant, um, do we get, like, this special roped-off table? Yeah. Like, away from everyone else? Yeah, we will have our own room. Okay, that's that's <laughs> perfect then, because I don't want to have to stand you know, in the you know, corner you don't, for three you hours. You don't need to buy a franchise at Buffalo Wild Wings. You can just get the public fee as a bar. You can just open the Bobby <laughs> Bar, the Bobby F F J Bar, and, uh, whoa, and whoa, we can whoa, do whoa. this. Yeah, I'm not calling it that. <laughs> <laughs> Check the wrong kind of clientele. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, LB, I was, LB, I was LB. thinking about um, like bars and these pay-per-views and things like that. And if they switch to this network, and on one hand, I'm like, well, they're not going to do that. They, I mean, they make a lot of money off these pay-per-views. And then I thought about it. And instead of a room full of people paying for four or five pay-per-views, now they're going to have a room full of people who basically pay for their whole cable bill. <laughs> So yes, I suggest yes, that yes. I should open a speakeasy. <laughs> Listen, sure, a, a pro wrestling speakeasy. Apparently, I have one cable box in my house. Okay. Like, and that's my main DVR. Yeah. Because I'm hardly ever in that room. Yeah. It's there for my roommates. Yeah. If the WWE Network comes out, I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> and this is yeah, it. Like, this is what I they're counting a, on. Uh, I have one cable box. I have two TVs. I have one cable box, and it's in my living room. The only reason I have a second TV, sorry, lunchbox, is for playing Xbox. <laughs> okay. I totally understand. Hey, where's my apology? <laughs> no, you don't get one, Bobby. That was going to be your hobo TV. That was just going to be for free. <laughs> hobo TV. <laughs> Anyways, I have a second TV. If it, if they do do, if they, I said do do. I just want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> if they we are me, highbrow. If they, highbrow. Me, if they put it out there and they put out the WWE Network as a regular TV channel, and I can get it as a as a as part of a, a package deal, which I'm likely already paying for. They would Comcast would likely put it in as part of the sports and entertainment package, which I already pay for to right. get Fox Soccer Channel. If they do that. I already will get the WWE Network. I'll just go get another cable box, put it in here, and I'll be able to watch my pay-per-views every every month. And I won't feel bad for paying for that extra cable box because a pay-per-view is forty dollars or fifty dollars a month or whatever it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And how if many? If I get that, my cable box would be what I don't know, fifteen if I get the fancy one. Yeah, exactly. Oh. exactly. Fifteen. Oh. <laughs> and I mean, and think about that. Okay, they're not going to get as much money per showing the pay per view, but they're going to get more. This the the capacity for for how many people can experience this, uh, and plus whatever advertising and everything else, more eyeballs on this. It's probably going to get them more in the end. You know, you know, not that we're business people, but you know, just kind of speculating over the logistics of this. Oh, uh, it'll be it'll be tremendous. It, it would make you know, it, and that almost justifies the pay per view a month, the the fourteen pay per views a year, whatever we're at now. You yeah, because it's not as big of a burden on a wrestling fan anymore. Right. I would just like to point out the epicness of the chat room right now the chat room is going crazy about a debate about about pg and whether it's 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 the shit or not and, uh raw's war is the attitude we needed i would just it, like it, to the high five like. the chat room right now the the the, 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 the chat <laughs> room <laughs> is having a whole other wrestling mayhem show right now it's yes. tremendous you, you guys gotta join us here on tuesday nights I, <laughs> wow wow it's amazing are you talking about hbk and flare bleeding uh, every night for years. Uh, so shout outs, Mr. Tuesday night, S McGavin. I saw some great points. Matt Carlin's mad. Mike is of course in there stirring the pot. Bulldog muscle. Uh, yeah. AJ's in there. What's <laughs> Cold, that? Bulldog I'm in muscle. There. Called a personality right. 2012 juggler. John. Uh, yeah. Bulldog muscle. There he is. Uh, wow. You guys, you guys are, are this rocking. Is amazing. Right now. This is great. This is, this is what we're here for. So everybody can just geek out about wrestling. It's, it's where er- can we talk about all now? you can come and do this. <laughs> so Chachi is really oh, wait, excited. Stop. First, wow. first, I would just like to point out that I watched one match on impact. Oh, okay. On Thursday night. Okay. Oh, tell me about it. I watched the Thanksgiving episode. Well, I, I went to turn on, uh, so one of those auctions. I wanted to see how bad it was. I was in the for a car wreck. <laughs> I uh, I went to turn on uh, Spike, as I normally do when I'm getting ready to fall asleep, because I like to watch, like, Storage Wars mm-hmm. or something, whatever the yeah, one is they show know. on Spike. I don't even know what's well, on that channel um, anymore. And 
much to my disappointment, <laughs> Impact was on. It was on. TNA night. Yeah, it was yeah. TNA night. I didn't realize that. So I watched the women's match. Mm-hmm. It wasn't bad. What was the yeah. women's match? Can I, actually, um, can I actually try my whole thing from last week, the good, bad, and... Was other? it, uh... Because now I, now I think... Mickey James it, versus... I, I thought, I thought Impact was good this week. Let me just say that. Okay. Uh... Okay, well, Chachi, do you want to do a good, bad, and the uh, improve, or is it, did you see enough of it to do that? No, I but didn't. you're you're happy with the women's match. Yeah, I, I watched that's, the that's one match. I was like, it's not going to get any better than this. Yeah, yeah, Click. And, and that's the thing to watch. <laughs> that's the that is definitely the thing to watch. Now, uh, oh yeah, Wrestle fan, go ahead, do your good, bad, and the other thing. Okay, I'll start with the good. Um, I love what they're doing with Bobby Roode. Okay, he is real. I, he's the perfect heel. And he, like I mentioned before, he's not the heel that just joins Immortal and, you know, whatever. He's a, he's just a classic heel, and he's holding his own on the microphone. Mm-hmm. Like, he's not letting people walk over him. That's the best part. He really, you know, steps out there. I thought the women's match was great. I really liked the Austin Aries promo. The Him and Kid Cash, which is Austin Aries. You know Austin Aries is great. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. I turned him down. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, he got a great promo, and they did this really oh. funny thing where Cash comes out, challenges him, and they both uh, sucker punch each other, like doing the whole heel turn around and then sucker punch. Uh, so that was pretty fun. Uh, another good uh, Mass and Rain smoking hot. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Uh, she gets your two little man bits, tonight. your boy bits, or whatever it is you have there. <laughs> Your what? silence is deafening. Continue. <laughs> okay, I can't. Listen, I can't can I, can I okay. put something out on the on the TNA thing? We can't just say every week that the good thing in TNA is that one of the women is hot. That's a good thing. <laughs> no, easy. it's not. I I said the women's match was good. I said Aries had a good promo. I thought. I guess the main event was good. I mean, it was good for what it was. Um, the bad. Um, the Bobby Roode family promos. Because they have this, they have these series of promos. Dude, I'm getting a kick them. out of them. I don't know what you're talking about. No, the, there's a wait. What? I'm getting a kick out of them myself. Well, I got a kick out of them. Yeah, it, the, the it's the it's it's great. Now, and now, and now okay. Like, can I can I defend the promos? Can I, can I defend the Bobby Roode promos? I mean, the, the yeah. family. Okay, here's my thing with them. Um, when whenever you get a heel turn, it's very inexplicably like I'm just going to be bad for no reason at all. That's usually how it comes off, right? Am I right? No, like no, Sting's right. just like Sting was just crazy for no fucking reason for several months, and now he's normal again because he beat Hogan. <laughs> okay, um, so so now you have Bobby Roode who turned to the dark side, yeah, turned on his friend, and it's showing he's doing. There's more happening to him that there is a change with him in his personality other than what he does in the ring. You know, no, he's yeah. basically the same guy, but he's, 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 you know, being a bad guy. It's like, I don't know what's this change in him. So it's like something snapped in him. You my, know, my, it, it's, it's that, backstory. Yeah, my God, it's backstory in a reason, Russell fan. Isn't that what we want? Okay, good. Awesome. Um, <laughs> and back to you. And, that, and I agree with you. My problem with it was that it made it seem like Rude was like doing drugs. It didn't seem like those promos <laughs> that you see for, like before the intervention I shows. I know, right? It's an I don't addiction. Know I love it. To him. I love I don't it. Know if he continues on this road, oh, I don't know. Like, you, you, you're making it sound like he has a drug problem. It is. It's great. I, it's it's kind of like I'm, I'm watching Being Human now on Netflix, and um, it, it's 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 how they do vampires too. Like the vamp, the blood with the vampires is like an addiction, and they can get off blood. They can be clean, you know. And and, and it's like it's like Bobby Roode and being evil. Is yeah. an addiction, <laughs> you know. Be evil. Be evil. <laughs> I, I think his last name is Rude. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I guess I love what they're doing with Bobby Rude. Um, one other bad, and that's the only other bad. They, they. Okay, we've had the Legend title. Then we had the uh, what, was, what were they called? The Global title. Then the TV title. Can we rename it the Comedy title? <laughs> Robbie E is champion. It's a joke. Bad. Well, it's a joke to begin with, so, you know. Yeah, it's bad. And Eric Young <laughs> came out with a fire extinguisher for no reason and <laughs> didn't even use it. Well, okay, it's just, okay. Just, I don't know. It's not good at all. And <laughs> that's my only bad. My improvement, do I have, so I have to improve, on, with the improve, do I have to improve on the things I said was bad? 
you know, just uh, something else just that you what think can be made better. Yeah. 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 Um, I guess a little, maybe a little less, a little more wrestling, a little less promo. Cause there was a lot of promo, but it was a good promo, but I, maybe a little bit more wrestling. But other than that, I thought it was a good impact. You know, am I out of sound jail now? Yeah. <laughs> sound jail. <laughs> Hey Bobby, when we do that, I, okay. sound jail. Huh. I apologize, Russ Fan. I just had to do that. I, uh, sound jail. Huh. <laughs> if no one was in our Google Hangout last night, it's when we do this. <laughs> so that's, that's that's the word done with talking about Doctor Who. Sign. Doctor Who. Spoiler. Yeah, <laughs> that's different. It's no, different. no, no, no. That's Wu Tang right there. That's Wu Tang. <laughs> Doctor Who. Spoiler. That was a word protect, for wrestling. Protect your goddamn neck. <laughs> You should All right, cool. TNA. You know what? Yeah, you know what else TNA is doing right? TNA what? is using their assets the best they can. Uh, I tweeted this <laughs> out last week. Oh, last week, asset. the uh, the, uh, the holiday videos make you oh, want to buy some shit. Right? Those there. are so suggestive. It's just wrong. And that's great. That's great uh, to buy tinsel all of a sudden. It's, it's using. <laughs> Tinsel? <laughs> this is slow mo. It was this was pretty good, but there was this one like one of them has like a really slow motion shot of ODB grabbing her tits. Yeah, yeah, that's the oh, one that oh, showed, showed it. That's it, it's definitely in this one. I I've only I haven't gotten by the first one honestly. Um, it's kind of it's like, a lot of the same. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's probably just hot chicks innuendo. Hot chicks yeah, innuendo. Hot that's pretty much how it goes. She's hot in the reef. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Oh, wield him like a puppet. <laughs> so uh i just want to throw that out there uh uh merry christmas tna knockouts merry fucking christmas um did you know it was for, it, there were promos for shop tna i had no i, I had no idea <laughs> i don't even care um uh so we didn't really get too far uh, Chachi, raw. T- tune in next <laughs> week where we listen to WrestleFan talk about shit we don't care about for four oh, hours. Come on. Oh, that's a lot. Wow. wow, that's over the line. Hey, raw. You crossed oh, the line. I know. You ran off in the TNA. Yeah, zone. I, don't, I don't care. You anymore. started it, man. I don't yeah, last you night, you're so raw. excited about the first raw. raw my girlfriend has ever seen. Yes, how is this experiment going? Yes. It's coming oh. along. It's coming along. We, um, she really enjoyed the Undertaker Shawn Michaels match. Well, she enjoyed well. the Ring of Honor match I showed her less. <laughs> she fell asleep during it. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Well, that's a little that's a little hardcore to be oh, showing. My advice, lunchbox was my advice, almost sage like. <laughs> Remind me like which this? one? Yeah, okay. mine, was, mine in particular was the. Um, she will enjoy the theatrics of it far more than the actual athleticism in the ring. No, no, oh. no. She was she was completely turned off by Raw. I have a list of quotes, but from her. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. All right. Wow. And these are really good quotes. Um, the first one uh, after watching the intro, I wonder what their electric bills are like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? <laughs> what? It's, it's all lights and LED screens and all this uh, stuff. Speaking, so. speaking of the opening, okay. uh, I want my uh, my title shot. Hmm? I want my title what? shot. Yeah, I deserve a title shot. Yeah, too. I, I, yeah, I deserve my title shot. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead, wrestle fan. Wrestle fan. Or lunchbox. I what apo- the hell? I apologize for insulting you, Lunchbox. Anyway, um, uh, the next quote, was, Alberto Del Rio came out and he was cutting a promo. And she said, oh, my God, are those knee pads? Is he wearing <laughs> knee pads? They hit each other with ladders. Why do they bother with knee pads? <laughs> <laughs> As you should have said, Cody Rhodes, even though he wears them Yeah, look at Cody Rhodes. Well, when um, when uh, uh, Daniel Bryan had his match, she was like, "Oh wow, does he have knee pads on his socks?" Knee pads. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we were uh, hearing some of that uh, conversation in the Google chat. <laughs> that's true. Uh, directly after the Divas match, uh, her quote was, "This is dumb." <laughs> <laughs> um, Cena, uh, John Cena. There was a couple of good quotes about John Cena. One being. What the hell? Is he wearing cargo shorts? 
<laughs> and then during the match, he wears cargo shorts and sneakers to wrestle. What a step up from George, though. Got to give him credit there. That's true. Right, no more George. Form her of but George. Rise above George. <laughs> one of my favorite quotes, um, and this is the last one I have. This is when John Cena was cutting his promo in the beginning, and everyone was coming out. She was like, "So does John Cena have a character, or is he just an ass?" <laughs> oh man. Her first exposure to John Cena. There it is. So uh, it's coming along. She's interested. She she definitely fell asleep during Raw, but I did too. Oh, no, no. My feed cut out, and I didn't bother finding another one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, well, I was trying to do commentary for you. <laughs> <laughs> you're so uh, as, far, as far as that John Cena <laughs> comment goes, Lunchbox, you're in the clear. What? What? Hey. Oh. You're in the clear. Okay. Thanks. Why? Why are you? Wait, what? She's not gonna fuck John Cena, or she's not gonna want to fuck John Cena. Oh, oh, I did date a girl who wanted to fuck John Cena. I mean, the yeah, odds isn't that are annoying? In her favor, but um, Ugh. it's it's much more likely she'll bone Edge. Russell fan makes my head hurt. If you make um, my crotch hurt. Anyway, the experiment's going well. Uh, she what? is willing to watch. <laughs> She's willing to watch more wrestling, so it's ongoing, so there'll be more means. stories in the future. Okay, there you go. So there's at least mild stuff. success. You motherfucker. All right, all right, up. don't worry about him. <laughs> don't worry about him. Um, so, <laughs> that's not <laughs> either. so, is there anything else we want to cover in the world of wrestling, guys, before we get out of here? Oh, Chachi oh, wants more indie news? Okay. <laughs> on that note it's time to learn hey Chachi please let me know fuck you what did you learn from wrestling oh, this wow. week <laughs> it's on you man oh me oh I no, no, yeah. No. yeah okay I said fuck uh, you I learned in wrestling this week that I mean gone. Lunchbox you mentioned before about you know WWE needing to take risks and I think they are taking a risk but it's a really bad risk um because they're taking a risk that, um, yeah, we're going to put Kevin Nash in a ladder match and mm. make sure. And for some reason, he's not going to like break his kneecaps. That's what I learned. He's going to climb a ladder. He can't even run across the ring. That's great. Yeah, good idea, WWE. LB, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Oh man, I'm glad Wrestle Fan said that because it reminded me what I learned this week. Finally, after all this time. Uh, WWE's wait. booked a dream match for me. Triple H versus Kevin Nash in a ladder match. I can't wait. It has the potential to steal the show. Five star. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. There's like a fucking sledgehammer or something over the ring or whatever. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I'll buy the pay-per-view just for that. That's what, what I learned. Can I ask what the fuck you were eating? Wait, uh, uh, mm. Can you turn me mm. back off? Walnuts. Oh. Wow. wow. Okay. 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 Yeah, but but I can tell you I can tell you that ladder match right now. I tweeted it earlier. Side slam, boot to the face, <laughs> power bomb. <laughs> Off the ladder. Okay, and climb ladder. Yep. Climb ladder. Okay. Every Kevin it, thanks to AJ for fixing this message, but that's every Kevin Nash match in the past 15 years. What what is that what you learned in wrestling this week? Yeah, did you watch that match? That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh. I did have one last thing. Uh, this occurred to me, and this is just a question I want to pose to the panel. When was the last time John Cena had a ladder match or a match with a ladder in it? Uh, last I recall was against the Edge a few years ago. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that, you're right. You're right. I do remember be. that. That was on Raw, I think. Uh, he had a table match with Sheamus where he lost the belt at TLC mm -hmm. one year. Uh, mm -hmm. But not a ladder match, I don't think. So. He had a okay. chair match. They usually don't stick I... him in ladder matches. No. Um, I'm afraid of heights. Hey, Riz learned that uh, he needs to hire Steven Seagal as his MMA and life coach. And uh, <laughs> Mad Mike learned that Punk is a Jeebus freak. Uh, Bobby, oh, what'd you learn? I learned that the XFL will forever live in my heart because of my uh, Outlaw shirt. And I also learned that Yo Soy Herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Google Hangout. AJ, hey, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> I, I learned. No me gusta. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'll wait. I'll wait. No, I'll don't wait. worry about that. Huh? Just, just go. There we go. I'm good now. 
Uh, I learned that Dolph Ziggler can step into the middle of the ring between Alberto Del Rio, who's terrible on the mic, and John Cena, who's actually pretty good on the mic, and outshine both of them! I was actually very happy to see Dolph Ziggler get main event guy FaceTime and hold his own on the mic. And actually, no, was he in the ring with... No, 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 the Miz came in after Dolph Ziggler. The Miz came in after Ziggler. But I was actually really happy to see him in the ring, and I'm actually happy to see him getting into this uh, WWE TLC or uh, Championship Table TLC match. Uh, and I'm glad that uh, that they're learning. Plus, I'm also glad that they uh, they've learned that hey, uh, having Punk say that nobody wants to watch Punk versus Punk versus Ziggler uh, was probably a bad move, and that everybody saying that they don't want to see John Cena versus Zack Ryder was also a bad was was a, I thought that was a very good move was having him in that match. And I, I think that they're really – I learned that the WWE can write a subtle storyline mm-hmm. uh, with, the, with the whole John Cena heel thing. I think they're really drawing that line and letting him letting – the, letting the courses of the match and the reactions to the matches kind of handle where it goes. Um, I just – I'm, I'm generally uh, happy with what they're doing right now with John Cena and this whole uh, heel, not heel thing. Uh, and and, and that I learned that the WWE has the capability to write subtle storylines. Excellent, excellent. And uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Matt learned that the WMS chat room is a lot better when there's no live SmackDown on Sci-Fi. This is true. <laughs> this is this is that's true. absolutely true because oh, no. we are the home of wrestling on Tuesdays. Fuck you, SmackDown. Yeah, and we're also going to be Fuck. competing with Tribute to the Troops on USA next week as well. USA. Not there we go. Uh, that's that's kind of what I learned. They're, they're, they're out to get us, WWE. Um, <laughs> well, wait, wait. So since since uh, since we're, we're probably going to take some time off here, does this mean that we all have to go to Iraq? Uh, we're working that out. Uh, maybe okay. we'll go down I to the... Maybe we'll just go down to the VA and yell at people. Um, <laughs> but in the meantime, <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to yell at people. Please go read Mad Mike's TNA reviews over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Tweet us at Mayhem Show with all your comments, questions, and what you learned after read after listening to this. Um, and also, Wait, there's one more. There was one more? Uh... S. McGavin learned that I can come back to the WMS and still bring the mayhem. There you go. And you can bring the mayhem to our email box at Good Times. Good times. Good times. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS-0. That's uh, 9670. And uh, we'll get to that, Riz. And, uh, well, not that one, not that one. Uh, also, uh, we're taking submissions for our best of. Please email Send in whatever. To, if you can, please tell us what episode. And please, if you have a time, it'll save me so much time getting this together and sure that you will make it into the best of episode. There are two Wrestling Mayhem shows next week. Huh. Two. Oh, man. Two. Huh. Now, how is that happening? Uh, we're going to be doing, uh, of course, our regular show next Tuesday, episode 300. Woo! 300. And uh, oh, yeah. that... Friday the 16th uh, we will be coming back and doing our Christmas episode uh, we're going to be bringing as many people in here to the studio as we can uh, so please join us for that It'll be, uh, I think it's going to be our regular time on Friday uh, and you guys will see that next week uh, around the same time that we release uh, our episodes uh, for that week and then the best of so we will be that will be two episodes if you join us live here at live.sorgatronmedia.com and, uh, and we will be uh, back after the new year for live episodes after that. But we will be having the best of, as I mentioned before. So, guys, go check out everybody's stuff. Chachi's at Chachi says dot net. There he is. And unsung Chachi says the vidcast. The awesome. number one rated show on Sorgatron Media. I don't know about rated, watched, viewed. <sighs> rated. There's no ratings. Number one. I don't have any ratings for you. Most, most <laughs> hits means number one wrestle fan at the wrestle fan on the twitters uh dj lunchbox thoughtful riot.com at dj lunchbox uh, look out for his book coming out soon 
Uh, yeah. Soon's a relative term, but there is a book, and it's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out the rest later. At Bobby F. J. Town on the Twitters. AJ at AJ and PGH, virtualpotholes.wordpress.com for the geeky yeah. Yeah, yeah, do that stuff. I'm sortatron.com. You What's your new oh, site? Plug Bobby's plug, damn it! <laughs> today, today in Scrim. Today in Skyrim.tumblr.com. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. And I'm at Sorgatron.com, MikeSorg.com, at Sorgatron on your Twitters. I like to talk to people. Uh, follow us on the Facebook, the Twitter, the Google Plus page. Join us Monday night for Hangouts for During Raw, and we'll see you guys. Mayhem. Oh, 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 Out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.